Let's try this again. Okay, so trying to film a video when you have dogs here, when you know you got deliveries coming, stuff like that is, um, it's a bit chaotic. So anyway, I'm going over the Spice Fragrance family. The fragrances that are leaving will be 20% off this month only, and then they will be going away. So if any of these you love and you're scared that since you might not bring them back ever, this is the time to add them to your club, okay? Um, I did uh, wanna go over the oil, which was the citrus cinnamon tea. Y'all, this scent is so good. I, like I said before, I liked um, warming it with the um winterberry apple tea and it just really like it it balanced everything really well and it went really good with um that particular fragrance this um I'm trying to find the scent notes for it citrus cinnamon tea Lemon zest, warm spice, and vanilla bean. So it's kind of like that sweet with citrus, but then you get the warmth from the cinnamon. So it's not too spicy at all, but it's so, so good. Um, and then to start us off with the spice uh, fragrance family is Dancing Sugar Plum. So this came out a couple years ago. Love this scent so much. It's like a winterberry apple tea cousin, a little bit more spice, darker um, berry in it. So it's like the darker plum. Oh, it's so, so good. Um, it really, it has spice plum, vanilla, and cinnamon apple. It just really, a lot of people think that it smells like potpourri in a way, but it's, it's a little bit better to me in my opinion the dark berry is like cutting the spice a lot. So even though some of these scents are in the spice fragrance family category, doesn't mean they're straight cinnamon, anything like that. So the next one is a new scent that came out this year. It's blackberry spice and it's blackberry, cedarwood and clove. So to me, this one smells more like um, a craft store or like the potpourri not really any spice you get the dark blackberry with like a woodsy note and then the clove warms it up without any cinnamon in it very good very good like that one too i wouldn't say it's like club worthy but for me anyway but it's really good it's really earthy really woodsy it's really nice Next one is a Scentsy staple. It tends to come out every year, but we don't know if it'll ever return. So if you love this scent, make sure to add it to your club so that way Scentsy will always make your wax bars that you love. So apple and cinnamon sticks is apple peel, white pumpkin, and oak. I normally don't like the wax or the flowers in this scent, but when it came out during the harvest collection and the cleaning, so good. So, um, you get, it's more of like a sweeter, um, cinnamon stick, like a cinnamon sugar, but that oak really shines through. So it's really woodsy. And then you get the white pumpkin and apple peel creating more of like that fruity type scent. It's, it's really nice. It's not a typical traditional apple and cinnamon sticks fragrance. Um, when you hear that type of name, it's, it's really nice. Um, the next one is going to be Autumn Sunset, and this one is Apples, Pumpkins, and Spices. That's it. And it definitely, ooh, it smells like being outside when the leaves are falling. That's a shock. I don't remember this one smelling like that. But it kind of reminds me of like an apple cider with like, what you think the scent of falling leaves outside would smell like. Yeah, very woodsy, very warm, pretty impressive. Next one is pumpkin chai. I wasn't a fan of this when it first came out in a harvest collection about two years ago, but I've warmed up to it. Chai can go one or two ways. It can be really spicy, really bakery, or just a warmth to it. Um, so this one is white pumpkin, cinnamon, and a dash of chai. I get like a buttery note to it. Like it smells like, like really buttery. And I think that's what the pumpkin and the chai are doing when they mix together. Yeah, it's really, it's really like a buttery, buttery scent. Hey girl. 
And then the pumpkin, mm, I don't really, I mean, you smell it for sure. The cinnamon's adding a little warmth, but the the pumpkin and the chai mixed together smells pretty buttery. If it was up to me, this would probably be like more of a bakery scent. It is a strong performer for sure. So then the next one is, uh, is this a new one? I know it came out last year, Spiced Ember Glow. It's smoked apple, vanilla, and cinnamon embers. So if you remember yesterday, we did the, um, that lip gloss no these are the testers to smell the wax ah! so this one you smell like the the smoky like vanilla the cinnamon's not too strong with this one this is beautiful I don't, but you get like a little smoke to it and it's but it's not too much it's not like around the campfire but this with the apple and the vanilla oh man that's beautiful. I don't remember warm. I remember warming this two years ago, but man, that is a warm, gorgeous fall fragrance or anytime fragrance. Really, that's nice. Nice. Any of the spice fragrances too? I did want to let you know if you want to like cut them down a little bit. Um, you can do so by mixing. Um, putting vanilla bean in there or right now we have the bring back my bar vanilla cream um that'll kind of tone down the spice a little bit if you have a scent like that that you aren't really happy with um let me know too if you want to exchange any scents but once you get them in next one is autumn hearth which is apple cinnamon and tonka so tonka is like a warm um inviting oh it's just warm and cozy scent so this one to me smells more like a craft store like when you walk into Hobby Lobby that specific Hobby Lobby smell that's what this smells like tart fruity um yet you get the warmth from from the Tonka I don't really smell the cinnamon but you can tell maybe it's there with like a little warmth it's nice uh, oh gosh all right, next one is Christmas Cottage. This is um, typically a Scentsy staple. It is a bestseller, um, and it's Valencia oranges, raspberry clove, raspberries, cloves, and spices. And this is this scent always reminds me of my friend Crystalline. Like, she does the dehydrated like fruits and stuff for her tree, and I love that. But this reminds me of her to a T. The citrus is in there, but it's more like sweetening the scent up. I wouldn't say the clove and spice is very prominent, but I mean, you get the warmth from it. You're going to smell it once it's warmed. And then raspberries. I would say it kind of gives like that little tart note to it with the oranges and the raspberries, but it's a good little mix. You definitely can get the warmth from the spices and the nutmeg in there or the clove. My bad, the clove. Next one is first day of fall, and this is just picked pumpkin, autumn woods, ground nutmeg, and a dash of cinnamon. So this one is like a fall scent, 280. Um, I always warm this one literally on the first day of fall. <laughs> but it's more like that earthy, um, not like an artificial pumpkin or, um, where is it at? It's more like earthy, woodsy type of scent. I would say the nutmeg and the cinnamon just kind of warm it up a bit. They don't make it too, too spicy to make it a, a nose burner, but this one's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's my favorite like fall scent, but it's pretty good. It's very earthy, very woodsy. Um, so if you like that, definitely. Harvest Blessings. This one is in my club. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, this one ever went away, I would be so upset. It is so rich and inviting, but not over the top. Not, like, too much fall scent. So, it's Radiant Apple, Spiced Pumpkin, and Smooth Oak. And it is just that beautiful, kind of bougie, like, fall candle. Oh, it's just so good. It's just cozy and oh, 
It's definitely a medium performer, I would say. It's not like over the top and very strong, but it's just such a good, warm, inviting fall scent without it being too spice, too woodsy, um, too apple-y. It just, it, it blends so well together. It's so good. I absolutely love Harvest Blessings and all the things. Cinnamon Bear. So this is your typical type A cinnamon scent. Um, it's just cinnamon and cloves. Very strong. Typical, just a typical cinnamon fragrance. Kind of reminds me of like Red Hot. That's what it sounds like. It like made my mouth water a little bit. <laughs> um, maple Apple Bourbon is red, juicy apple, rich maple, and a splash of bourbon. So when they have scents that say like splash of bourbon, um, champagne, whatever, you're not getting that like boozy note. With bourbon type scents, I find that it smells more like um, like nutmeg, like to warm up the scent. But it's not boozy. Like I don't think anyone would want their house to smell like a actual liquor, but. Yeah, it's just warm. You really, the maple really shines through. The apple sweetens things up a little bit um, and cuts down the maple a bit. And then the bourbon just really offers like a warmth to it. Kind of like nutmeg would. So that one's pretty interesting. Next is Cider Mill. Cider Mill is what we love. Everyone knows um, around the fall and winter time since he's going to come out with Cider Mill and it's going to be incredible i didn't see it on this page come on with the come on uh, excuse me yeah here it is my bad um apples pumpkin and spices this is just like uh, signature it's very tart with the with the apples Oh, it's so good. Like, it is the typical fall fragrance. I always add it to my Scentsy Club just because I want them to make the wax for me forever. Just in case it doesn't return. Oh, it's so good. But it's not like that. Like, you know, you go to like Walmart or like the dollar store or any, any places like that. And you get those fall fragrances. And they have like that really cheap smell to them. That's not like that. It smells so decadent and like luxurious. Um, cider mill and harvest blessings are very similar, but I would say cider mill is a little bit more tart. Harvest blessings is a little bit more cozy. So farm stand pumpkin. This is apple cinnamon stick, pumpkin and caramel. This is very, well, I get a little buttery note to it, but it's just traditional like pumpkin in a can when you're making pumpkin pie, a little bit of apple. Caramel sweetens it up, and then the cinnamon stick makes it a little bit warm. So this is a good inviting fall fragrance too, but if I had to choose the perfect fall fragrance in the Spice family, it would be Harvest Blessings or Cider Mill. So The next one is Clove and Cinnamon. So this one is a bit different than Cinnamon Bear. Cinnamon Bear had cinnamon and cloves. This one has cinnamon sticks and cloves. So it doesn't give you that red hot fragrance like Cinnamon Bear does. This one's more like, like your potpourri kind of fall fragrance, heavy on the spice. That's what this one reminds me of, to a T. Um, and then the last one is Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. So I do like this one. If I had to choose between this one and pumpkin roll, I'm always going to go with pumpkin roll. Um, but this is pumpkin, cinnamon stick, and whipped icing. It has like more of a buttery note to it. It just, it smells more like a pumpkin cinnamon roll. There's more spice to it than sweet. So that's why it's different from pumpkin roll to me but this is pumpkin cinnamon swirl. So that is everything that's gonna be leaving us in the Spice um, fragrance family. So like I said, everything that I showed you is gonna be 20% off this month in that scent and all the products and the oil. Um, so if you wanted to add it to your club so you don't miss out on that, make sure to do that. Or if you want to um, 
get it while it's on sale. Make sure to do it this month before it sells out. So all of the things that are discontinuing are limited time, like while supplies last. So make sure to get them when you can. But I'll be back hopefully tomorrow um, before we leave for world tour on Friday to do either the fruity or the bakery or both and let you know those scents. And then that will be the end of this series. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day and you keep it scented lovers. Bye.